Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these Christmas twirl earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here, consider subscribing because in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself, to make early your Christmas presents and so on and so on. If you're not new here, you could definitely skip this intro. Down there in description, I have really useful links that you could check out. And a new feature is that you could become a member now and in this way support my channel and get some beautiful perks. When you click on the become a member button, you will see what is it all about. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, for liking, sharing and commenting. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 0 seed beads. You could use 10 0 seed beads if you want. Here I'm using earring finding in old gold color. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice, but don't use soft nylon thread for this work. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers that are not obligatory only if you need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start by picking up 12 of these black beads. Maybe they are not visible on this background. Okay. And I have 12 of them and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. I make it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull really gently. And then I will make one more knot. And in this way I'm sure my work is secure. Now I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay. Now guys, I have this beautiful circle of beads and what I'm going to do next is pick up a black bead and I go and as I'm exiting here out of this black bead, you see this one, I'm going back in circle through the same black bead, just like this. Okay, you see, I have something like a loop between my beads. Okay, and I pull. Then I go in the following black bead. I take just one black bead. And again, I go back in circle through this bead. And you could also go in the following bead. In this way, you save time. Okay, and I pull. Now, guys, I have this. Then again, one bead, go back through this one, go through the following. Then again, one bead, go back through the following. Just attaching uh, to my black beads, I'm attaching another black bead with a loop between them okay and i will continue this until the end and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and i'm going through the last black bead in the same way i showed you before just like this you see now as i'm exiting here i'm going in this black bead that I just added. Okay. 
I'm in this black bead that I just added. You see where my thread is, you see here. And now what I want to do is flip my work because I'm right handed and it will be easier for me to go in this direction. And I'm going to take a red bead and go in the black. A golden bead and again go in this black one and a green bead and again go in this black one okay now I'll show you one more time a red bead go in the black a golden bead go in the next black I'm just filling the gaps with the colors alternating the colors and filling the gaps and this row is really pleasant and really easy now I'm going to repeat these three steps two more times and I'll meet you here Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last green bead from this row. And now what I want to do is my next row is really simple and easy. I'm going in the red one. I'm taking three red beads like this and I'm going backwards through the red making a cross of four beads. You see what I have across a four beads by adding three beads because here I already have one. I'm adding three and by going backwards, I'm making a cross of four. Then I go in the next golden. Then I take three golden beads. And I go back as I'm exiting out of this golden. I go back through this golden and through the following black and green just to save time. Okay, then again I take three greens, go back through the green and through the following black and red. So when I pull, I have this. Okay guys, and I'm going to repeat these crosses until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay, here is what I do. Now I go here in the red and in the top red. Okay, I'm here. Now I'm going to take three golden beads. In this row, as I'm exiting from this color, which is red, I'm going to pick up the next color, which is golden, and add it here. This is what I'm going to be doing until the end of this row. Now the next color that is coming is green. So I'm taking green and going through the green. The next color that is coming is red. So I'm going to take three red and go through the red. The next color that is coming is golden. So I'm going to take three golden and go through the golden. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, and here I am at my last step where again I need to pick the next color which is red and go in the red. And with this I'm finishing this row and don't worry that now your work bends a little bit, we'll fix it later. Now, in my next step, I'm going through two golden beads in this direction. I'm starting a next row and the next row will consist of four 
of the next color and the next color is green so I'm taking four green beads and I will go in the second bead I'm exiting out of the second here and I'm going in the second again so the magic formula for this row will be two four exiting out of the second bead and adding four the next color is red so I'm taking red four beads and go in the second one the previous row was exiting out of one bead and adding three now is exiting out of the second bead and adding four okay four and in the second one and of course next color next color four in the second one next color red in the second one okay and i will continue this and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am at my last step i'm going out of the second red and i'm going here in the golden adding four beads okay now maybe you could guess what will come next now i will go through three beads and add five so i'm going through these three green beads I'm taking five red because my next color is red. You see, this is a clean formula. Clear formula, okay? Five beads. And go in the third this time. So it's three, five. It's one, three, two, four, three, five. Okay, next color five in the third next color five in the third okay and i will continue and meet you here okay guys and this is the last step from this row where i'm adding my last five beads in the third beat okay so maybe you could guess what is coming up next now you go through four beats and you add six beads of the next color which is golden okay i have six and i go through the fourth one this time you see the fourth one six four so the numbers are growing by one okay then again six okay six and go in the fourth green next color which is red okay and go in the fourth red okay and you could expand this work as much as you like just uh, increasing the numbers with one and now i will finish this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last six beads from this row and now in my next step what i'm going to do is go here through three golden beads i won't be adding any more spiral rows but now i will add one golden here in the middle of these six beads you see here i have three here i have three i'm adding one golden in the middle And in this way, I'm making a new thread pad and I have a beautiful angle here. Then again, I'm going through three 
green beads add here an angle with one green then again I go through three reds and I add an angle with one red and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll be back okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last green beads from this row now I will reach the golden part of my work where I want to attach my clasp uh, sorry not clasp but earring finding and I'm exiting here at this step and now I'm going to take my earring finding and I'm going to take one seed bead, my earring finding. I'm choosing the black color. And one more seed bead. And I'm going back in circle through this bead here, just like this. And I'm going one more time. Like this. okay and now it's time to make a knot and cut my thread by the way you could reinforce this several times and you want to squeeze this earring finding well not to uh, go out at some point go out of the thread i mean of the thread loop and now i'm making here a loop at the corner and i'm making i'm going twice through it and i pull and by the way, you could repeat this knot several times and when you're ready with the last knot, go through the following seed bead and cut your thread. And now my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my Christmas twirl earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be ready earlier with your Christmas presents and to be inspired often in general. Check description for useful links. If you want to support my channel, become a member. You could see more if you click on the click uh, become a member button. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for liking, sharing and commenting. Bye bye from me.